Hello, so, um, they're gonna, I just got another message from Hero Wars about, it says, Dear Legendary YouTuber, our Hero Wars team wants you to be one of the first players who will see the concept art of new skin type that is coming this year. We'd appreciate it if you look at these skins and send your feedback in the form below. Um, unlike the last one, I don't have an exact date, but the heroes are, um, Galahad, Satori and Kark, but uh, so let's uh, go look at that. All right, so here's what it says: Hero Wars concept art and new skin type. Hello, our legendary YouTuber. We want you to be one of the first players who will see the concept art of new skin type that our artists are currently preparing. This picture below is a current work in progress. Please be aware that skin stats are not set yet. Their appearance may change in the future. We want to show you how the concept art with different skin version skins look like. We don't know yet when they will appear in game. It will happen uh, till the end of 2022. Of course, you can share the content art with your audience if you want to. What do you think of the upcoming skins? Which row did you like most? Share your thoughts below in the form. So, obviously, this is pretty much telling me you need to make a video on this since you're a YouTuber. Like, this is definitely like a hint, hint. You just need to make a video here. So... That's what we're doing. Um, so it doesn't tell you, like on the other ones, like the last one I did, their screen, their skins that are coming up in April. Um, this one, I don't have any idea when these ones are coming. So it says the end of 2022, so maybe in the fall. But there is, uh, there for Satori, Kark, and Galahad. They actually have three different designs, so they're not even sure which kind of design or theme they're going to use. Like there's two different Asian theme ones, and then there's a C, uh, which is like a punk theme. Which I kind of like the punk theme just because it's a lot more utilitarian. I feel like there's a lot more. They, it leaves them a lot more options going forward. Like if they want to add more skins of like that theme. Like this one I feel like it, today is probably my word least favorite just because they're very generic. Like they feel very stereotypical. Whereas B, I really like Satori. This is a good Satori skin. I really like this one. It's very like Korean inspired. Like which, yo, for Satori being a fox, like I said, it's very, this one definitely fits like. Green culture. I really dislike the Kark skin on the other hand. Um, don't like B1 Galahad. B2, I really like this Galahad. Of all the Galahads, it's probably my favorite. I just like this sword though. This sword, I don't like the eyeball thing. I kind of like this. I like this sword a lot more. So I think B2 with like the B3 sword would probably be my favorites. Um, and then of course we have the punk skins, which this is my favorite of the Kark skins here. I do like this one. Um, I don't, like I said, I think both these Satori and Galahad skins are solid. I do think I like the B, the B set more uh, for these ones. But uh, the punk skin, though, the punk theme, like, they want to do more punk skins in the future. Uh, this is definitely a theme I feel like has a lot more freedom. Like, you're not, like I said, you're not as limited. Like, problem with, like, doing, like, an Asian theme is that you really, like, anytime you do, like, a cultural theme, you really have to, you know, give more thought to it to do it in, like, a respectful way because you don't want to, you don't want to play into like negative stereotypes or whatever because that could be, yo, know, uh, problematic. So I like so these these ones here though. Like this one's very I feel like very good, very very fitting. Like this is a good one I think. Like and I do like I do like these ones. Um, I don't know. I don't really like the Kark one here though. But yeah, you know, again they can always work rework uh, some of these. Like I said, I do get put my feedback below and I did they said so I got to do all that. So, um, but yeah, so this is. Like so, if we don't know when these happen, but uh, these three heroes are gonna get more skins. Um, I know a Kark only has like three skins, so this would be a fourth skin for him. Satori, Satori. I don't know if I think Satori has four. Galhad, Galhad. This is probably be Galhad's fifth, right? So let's go look at what we got here. So. Da, 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 da. Where is my Galhad? Okay, well, I probably should just... Da, da, da. Here he is, Galahad. So, he has four skins, right? He has not had a new skin in a long time. So, he's had four skins for as long as I've played the game, and I've played the game for two, two and a half years. So, this will be a fifth skin for him. So, definitely long overdue on Galahad. Galahad has kind of sucked um, for a long time, so... Um, he has high armor, like, honestly, like, armor and health have always been kind of his strong points. He has, like, well, armor especially. Health maybe not super high in health, but, um, what does he need stat-wise? 
Like, if he had another armor skin, he would have the best armor in the whole game. Like, I think he has, like, the third highest armor in the game already. So getting more armor would honestly be crazy. Like, but it might actually make him really useful. Like, that is something that has a lot of potential, like another armor skin on him. I, I don't know what they'll do. Um, but an armor skin would definitely be interesting because then it might give him a niche. Like, it would give him the absolute highest armor in the game. Obviously, my Galahad's weak because he's, so he is really, but maxed out. Galahad, I think, has, like, the third highest armor in the game. He has really high armor, so if he had a second armor skin, I'd probably put him to, at the top, or, like I said, or at least close to the top. Like, you know, he definitely mitigates stuff really well. Um, so that would definitely, definitely uh, add uh, Galahad uh, to a lot more usefulness. Uh, definitely make him a lot more interesting. You know, Galahad is the only tank who doesn't buff uh, mitigation stat with his uh, ult. He just buffs uh, physical attack. Other tanks, they buff armor or Aurora buffs dodge. Uh, I don't know if I don't... Do we have any magic defense tanks still? I don't remember if we do. Lilith used to buff magic defense, but they totally removed her for the tank. And like I said, I've been, I've been grumbling about that for a while, but... But, uh, I, you know, honestly, I would really like to see an armor skin just because then Galahad, I think, could probably enter to, would actually have a chance to be a competitive tank. That's what I'd like to see. I think, I don't know if that'll be, it'd probably be like health or something, but I'd like to see an armor skin because I think that'd be interesting. Uh, would definitely allow him to be, like said, you know, kind of cover for the fact he doesn't buff mitigation. You're just having the best armor, absolute best armor in the game because he doesn't buff armor like the other tanks, I think would probably help balance out his main weakness there. Um, the other heroes that were getting skins were Kark. So Kark just has these three skins. Um, agility, Armor Pen, Magic Defense. Uh, honestly, I'd pr he's probably going to get like a physical attack skin. That'd be my guess just because he doesn't have one yet. Um, that'd be my guess. Probably another a physical attack skin because he doesn't have one yet. Most, most... Most warriors usually get a physical attack skin at some point. Kark doesn't have one yet. So I feel like that's probably what we'll expect. And then, of course, Satori is the other guy getting a skin. He also only has three skins. Um, he has intelligence, armor, armor. Um, I don't even know what you'd give uh, Satori. Poor Satori has got nerfed so hard, especially. He used to be really good, but then... Well, S S Sebastian came... Um, he probably needs magic attack. He, like I said, he's one of two heroes in the game whose basic attack does magic damage. Um, like I said, he does magic damage, basic attack. Yeah, still, so like I said, right, so this is, so he does magic damage, basic attack. Like, one of two heroes that does that. Um, so magic, like I said, so magic, um, attack, I think, would probably be what he needs. I don't know. I mean, a sec armor, the armor skins don't really do much for him, to be honest. Like, he has two armor skins. I don't think they help him much. Satori so is, like, one of those heroes who almost needs a rework just because Sebastian nerfs him so hard. I mean, there's probably a few heroes that lost out more than Satori uh, when Sebastian came. Like, Satori used to actually be a pretty good hero, but now, not you know, it's just he's literally unviable now. He's just not worth investing in. So, I don't know, like I said, but, uh... Magic attack at least might make him uh, do more damage. But uh, anyway, those are my thoughts. Those skins are coming. Um, you know, what do you think of the, the those skins? Like, what do you like? What are your favorites? Uh, themes uh, of those. And uh, yeah, answer in the comments below. Um, like I said, we'll see what uh, Nexters does with those. Like, so those are definitely something that'll be interesting to look forward to. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video fun and informative. Thank you for watching.